Do you have a preference among the American candidates? No, we do not have a preference of any sort because we believe that these are issues relating to the domestic affairs of the United States and decisions pertaining to that must be made by the American people. And it's not important to us either. What matters essentially is that the president that is chosen by the American people uh, should adopt a path and a policy approach and for us to observe that policy approach. This is the campaign period. Anyone can say anything. So we disregard that. What matters is that once someone is in office, we have to watch and see if that person will make bring about some changes in policy or continue the same old path. I think that's more important than who is actually voted into office. Would you like to meet with uh, Senator McCain or Senator Obama? I have said that, in fact, on this very trip, currently in New York, that I am ready to speak with the presidential candidates um, before the press, with the presence of the members of the press and the media, and discuss world issues and debate them together. I believe that we've really done whatever we could to, in this respect. Mr. President, do you fear at all Israel or the United States attacking you? Do you think that they would do that? I'm asking. I have no concerns in that regard because they are unable to do that because the worst thing the U.S. government can do would be an attack. I think that in the United States there are enough reasonable people, smart people, who would not allow the U.S. government to make such a big mistake. How about in Israel? The same, too. It's much smaller than that for an attack. It's way too small. It doesn't even factor in in the equation of Iran's foreign policy. Do you want the United States out of Iraq right now? If it can, it would be the best scenario. But I think that it needs a timetable. That's what I think. A clear timetable so that it would allow for their withdrawal in the shortest uh, period of time. Because the presence of um, the United States there has not reduced tension and it has not uh, limited terrorism either. In fact, it has increased terrorism. So we think that it will benefit everyone. It will benefit the Americans, the Iraqis, and the region if the withdrawal happens. Uh, but it needs a specific time frame. Senator Obama has said, um, Senator McCain is not, but he is open to diplomacy. Does that encourage you? We are interested in having relations that are friendly and respectful. We prefer that and propose that. But it is for the American government to decide what choice it wants to make. And whatever choice they make, we will also well, take measures and organize our efforts uh, accordingly. But we think that a relationship based on justice and respect will benefit all sides, and that's our preference.